Chris Dingman, is there anything you want to add that we left out? I, I want to share something with this group, and, and we can we can talk. If you guys have questions, I know we're playing chess right now. Nancy understands that, too, more than anybody. Uh, Marathon, I reached out to Marathon the Tuesday after Riley went missing to put in context of how much this ball has been dropped at that area. Uh, the fact that you reached out also and said, hey, we've never even, you know, heard of anything. I, I want to share something with you guys. And, and Nancy, I, I love your passion and you're a mama bear, but I've been in contact with Riley's and I'm, I'm calling her his lady friend. Uh, uh, she shared some stuff with me last night, which I'm sharing with the family. She and Riley had a private conversation and, and Riley told her, he goes, you know, you're my favorite person. And she goes, really? And he goes, no, no, wait a minute. You're my second favorite person. And she goes, well, okay, well, who's your favorite? And he goes, my mom. So, yeah, that's the kid we're looking for. Chris, I, I appreciate you, everything that you guys are doing. So just keep doing it. We'll find right. What time Riley. was that? What time was that? What we know and we have put together the last ping that the phone did, we think that is the last conversation and, and she is the last person to have any correspondence with him. She had asked him if he was having a good time and he had responded with good lops, L-O-P-S, which was really confusing for her. She's young and she's like, wow, new slang. I don't, so he said, her and her mom actually Googled it. He's probably it. writing lots, L-O-T-S. Well, but the funny part with Riley, if, if you ever communicate him with his phone, the kid was extremely punctual, even if he had had a few beers in him, exclamation points, emojis. I mean, he was a, he was a very punctual kid, a very intelligent kid. So that correspondence really was odd that, you know, that was said. But we're Could we're you tell me one more time what it said? Sure. I want to make sure I understand what? It said good, L-O-P-S, lops. Which Did he ever dictate into his phone? Did he ever dictate no. the message? No. So he would have typed that. And he was on oh, foot he was at a, night walking. Yes. Hmm. I would think that yeah. meant good, lots, lots of fun. I'm, I'm very uh, intrigued by what it's very he's interesting, saying. But, yeah. When Riley would have finished her, it. Yeah. Uh, he, he seemed to have his wits about him. Chris, what do you think about this homeless encampment? And, you know, um, I heard Dr. Yeah, Bethany yes. talking about how peace-loving and sharing the homeless community is. <laughs> um, I'm not necessarily agreeing with that. But w I, what, what I can tell you is... Think about that. We have... We actually have two volunteers that have literally been sleeping in the homeless camps that were not homeless. To give you an idea of what we are going to and the outpouring of people in it as a dad... It scares the crap out of me that they're there. We've got them, their phones pinged. They're doing recordings. Uh, yes, I think there's extremely viable information there. Uh, this is information for everybody in this group at the moment. The, the crazy thing is, is when the TikTok uh, crew hit there, they were already coming to Nashville to protest what the House had done trying to ban TikTok. I, we had no idea that there was that huge of a group of TikTokers. They had picked Nashville to come to Nashville to protest. Signs and everything. I was blessed to get in touch with three or four of them, and wow, here we are. It just, the you know, I, I made the comment, we're bigger than Tiger King during Corona. Um, we do have people that are physically in the camps. There are a few people of interest that the police are aware of and they are looking for, but homeless people, 99% uh, of them do not want to be found. They don't want to be bothered. And what, what did you, you know, just don't say? Want police people. are looking for who? People are looking. The, the police are looking for a few homeless people that we do have questions for. Uh, the young lady from Nashville uh, iterated that, you know, one of the homeless interviews had yelled back up the hill to the gentleman, you know, hey, what's going on? And he goes, nothing. It's a drunk guy. We have the name of that gentleman and we are looking for him. What happened, unfortunately, when everybody went to that specific area, and we have a very limited ground zero for information, a lot of those homeless that was there that evening dispersed and went to other homeless camps in Nashville. 
because they didn't want the press, didn't want to be talked to, didn't want to be seen. We've been blessed with the homeless people that we have been in contact with, though. They know where those camps are. They've given us names of specific people that they knew was in that street or that area or that exact camp. Uh, there's actually a, I'm, I'm not sure they're a married couple, but they are a couple that was just down from there uh, about 10 feet. The young lady from Nashville, she'll know the couple I'm talking about probably. Uh, they're the ones that, you know, yell back up. But we have names. Uh, but right now we're just trying to find which camp they went to and what direction they went to. So that I understand that, that with the, two the debit groups card. of homeless encampments state that they saw Riley. Yes, uh, somebody had mentioned about uh, across the river at the uh, Titan Stadium. Uh, that is actual tent city. Yeah. Uh, to to give you a demographic, what is uh, what is where we were at and where Riley was uh, last seen at is is and and I don't want to be disrespectful. It's more of the Beverly Hills of the homeless community in that area. It is the more uh, organized groups, the organized people, the less uh, offensive, etc. That's not saying that there's not people there that over in Tent City, uh, and this is literally from our people that are staying in the camps at the moment. Chris, let me Tent understand City something. Is, You're saying that the homeless people on the other side of the bridge are saying that they saw him? No, no. But the other people on the other side of the bridge where the marathon uh, holding state facility is, uh, that is a way more Wild West style homeless camp. That Did is they where. See him? So just, 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 just to, to no. be clear on that. So these cameras are trained out over the river to uh, protect against threats coming of people coming from the river into yes. the facility. And the same with the Titan Stadium. So yes. we were looking at the cameras that actually look under that bridge. And Chris, I, you know, I know you said you talked to Marathon. Did you talk to Samantha in Ohio, the head of security? Because she's the one who has access to all uh, of the. Um, the counter um, cameras uh, that are on the bar that right. are on the dock itself. If not, Samantha, I can give you her uh, cell phone number. I think. Perfect. Perfect. Do that. What, where we're at is, is I'm still based in Springfield, but I've been media for a long time. And what we've done is we've created Riley's war room and we're doing exactly this in the mornings when we wake up we're at lunchtime and then we come home in the evenings and we, we put together everything that we found with our contacts we actually have a burner phone inside the homeless community right now. Uh, guys, we're trying everything we can, but the marathon deal was extremely did frustrating for us. Did you tell me that, Chris, did you tell me that you have two people that have embedded themselves in the homeless community right now trying to find out information, staying there overnight? Yeah, yeah, which is just phenomenal, but it's extremely dangerous not knowing the people they're with. I was gonna to say too, Chris, about you the, talked about, about the a little four bit cameras. police dropping the ball a tiny bit because it was two TikTokers again who found the <laughs> card. And we asked police, you know, why weren't you the ones to find it if you combed through the area? But they said they were only looking for clothes and for human, for a body. And so <laughs> it's, yeah. Yep. Um, guys, thank you for the additional information. Like we said, I'm, I'm trying to be a buffer with the family so we still have a rapport with the police department, but I'm just far enough excluded from the family. I want answers. Everybody here wants answers. Guys, thank you for being with us. We'll stay on it.